gold medal position for Ben Ainsley, who is leading in the Finn race. He's coming in fast. Well, this is a showcase display by the British sailor as he approaches the top mark. Since 1996, Ben Ainsley has occupied only one spot in major sailing championships, and that's the top one. He's a born winner. He went out, he won the race. He's now Britain's most decorated Olympic sailor of all time. Ben Ainsley is a sailing legend. Ben Ainsley, he is 100% all the time. This is a man who has made the Finn a world of his own. Took nearly two and a half years out to do the America's Cup, came back, hasn't lost an event. He's rock solid, a great sailor. It's a joy to watch him sliding and surfing down the waves. Everybody said you could put your house on Ben Ainsley winning, even your competitors. I think with this Olympics, I had so much expectation, more, more so than ever before. So dealing with that was quite hard, especially when I knew the conditions were going to be so difficult. Nobody is ever a banker, but when you're an outstanding talent, then you are going to deliver and deliver consistently. Ben Ainsley has been that for the team. This has been a lifetime of dedication to Ben, and he deserves all the plaudits and all the acclaim that he gets. And as a sportsman, you never really expect to win. You uh, know that you have the ability to win and you're confident that you can do it. The third consecutive gold medal of Ben Ainsley is uh, as valid as uh, Phelps or Bolt. You also need inspiration, and inspiration comes from the heroes, the heroes that everybody looks up to, and the role models of the sport. No question, Ben Ainsley has continued to deliver it uh, in sailing, and everybody looks up to him, and he acts as that extra catalyst for the whole of the fleet. Ben Ainsley's already written himself a place in sailing history, but there still appears to be so much more potential. When he steps back into an American's cup, the opera team origin, can he win the old mud for Britain for the first time? Perhaps a fourth gold in 2012, and then, who knows?